The default graphics on Roblox can look very basic, but in this video, I'm going to show you how your graphics can go from this to this in an easy step-by-step -step tutorial. To not waste your time, I will say this only works if you're using a NVIDIA graphics card. So if you're using any other graphics card, then this won't work. There are three links in the description, all GitHub links, and don't worry, they're all safe. I'm currently using them. The first step is to click the first link in the description. It'll take you to a GitHub site, and then you want to see where it says assets, and click NVIDIA Profile Inspector .zip. You want to go ahead and download that right here. See where it appears in the download box. Then you're going to want to click on that download box, drag it out to where on your desktop like this. All right. Then you want to right click and then click extract here or extract all. Once you extract it, it should appear over here. You're just going to want to double click on that. Once you have it open, scroll all the way down until you see other. And at the top of other, it should say Ansel flags for enabled applications. You want to click on that, click on the drop down and change it to allowed. The default's disallowed. Click allowed. All right, once you do that, you're gonna wanna go click apply changes in the top right corner, and you're good to go. You could even delete it if you want to. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the second link in the description, find where it says code, click the drop down. find where it says download zip. You wanna click that right there, should download. Now do the same thing as last time, just drag it out onto your desktop. Then you wanna right click, click extract, you should have it right over here. You want to go ahead and open it. As you see, you'll have the shaders file and you don't have to do anything with it just yet. The next step is go ahead over to the third link in the description. Same thing as last step. You just want to click the drop down on code, click download zip. All right. And then you want to go ahead and drag the same file onto your desktop or like this. Then you want to click extract. You should get on your desktop. And now that you have these two folders, I want you to open both of them just like this. Once you have both of them open, find the reshade shaders in video, the one we just downloaded, then click shaders and textures. And then you want to do control A, that should select everything in the folder, then click control C. All right. Once you do that, you're going to go to the quint master folder, then go to shaders, and then you want to paste everything here. You're going to click control V to paste it, click replace file in this destination and you should be good the next step is go go to file explorer open that up once you're in here click this pc then find where it says windows it should have this c right over here you want to click on that then you want to find where it says program files not the ones 86 but the one without a number you want to click on that you should find nvidia corporation right over here once you find you're going to click on it and then now once you're here you want to create a new folder called Ansel. So go ahead, right click, click new, hover over it, create a new folder and name that Ansel. Once you have created that folder, you want to double click that. All right. Once you open that folder, you want to go back to the reshade folder, go to shaders and textures. Remember, this is the one that we recently pasted everything into reshade shaders, NVIDIA folder. And then once you're here, you want to click control A. Once so you select everything, control C to copy it. Then go to the Ansel folder, control V to paste it. And once you're here, you want to select this box. that says, do this for all current items Click continue. And it should paste everything into the Ansel folder. The next step is go ahead, find the search bar on the bottom left, search up Roblox player. All right. And you should see this right here. Right click on it. Click open file location. Then once you find Roblox player, you want to open file location again by right clicking. You should see it. Click on it. And then see where it says Roblox player beta. You want to go ahead and click this, rename it, and you want to rename it to Euro Trucks 2. And no, I'm not making this up. I have no idea why. That's just the way it is. Just go along with it. All right, then you want to open it, but make sure it's from the Euro Trucks 2. Log in if you have to, but once you're in here, you're going to want to join any game. It could be anything. I'm going to use Murder Mystery 2 as an example. Once you're in a game, what you want to do is click Alt F3. And if it doesn't come up, don't worry. I'll show you how to get it if it doesn't come up. But let me just show you how this works. And I can customize your graphics. Click style. Any style doesn't matter. Click add filter. You should get all of these options. Now you can customize your graphics however you want. If I want bloom, 
I'd say, you know, looks seem a little bit different, you know. You can, you know, click vibrance, get a little more vibrance in your game, kind of like this. As you see, it's kind of changing a bit. You can go to ambient light. And yeah, as you see, you can pretty much customize your graphics any way you want. By the way, do not go full screen if you're on PC. Because look, if I go full screen, and I try to do the all F3 thing, my mouse goes invisible. So make sure that's a glitch. Just make sure you're not in full screen when you click this game filter. Some solutions, if all F3 doesn't work, you can click Alt Z and this G4 experience should come up. See where it says game filter, you go click on that. Game filter should open. Another solution is go in the search bar search g force experience if you have a video graphics card you should on my pop it up click on it go to drivers and then see if you have the latest driver if you don't you want to click download and if you do then it should say you have the latest driver another option is to make sure is to do full screen and go back into full screen kind of do that or leave and rejoin and if all of those don't work then i recommend restarting your computer and trying again if you want your own custom cursor on roblox and check out this video like the video if this tutorial worked and subscribe for more tutorials i will see you in the next one spoof out